every time I, I see Carla, I, I see potential, I see hope, I see strength, I see generosity, and I see more than anything, kindness and empathy. It was April 2020 when we started to, it was in the middle of quarantine. We realized that my brother was having like, he was, he was acting really weird. Like he was walking and he would like unbalance and he would fall. So we took him to the, hosp to the hospital to get him uh, studies done. And that's when we found that he had a tumor in his brain. They were very, very, very faithful and hopeful that, that it was going to be cured. And I said, well, well, we'll be praying. We'll be praying and we'll be getting together as a community to help in whatever ways we can. When he passed away, I couldn't believe it. June 25th, 2021, Marco was already in first grade and the teacher, first grade teacher contacted me to let me know that mom had reached out and explained that Marco had passed. I regretted like every decision that I had made because I didn't appreciate the time that I had with him when I could have spent time with him. But then I started to be like, well, he's in a better place, he's in heaven. And right here he was suffering and in heaven he's not suffering, he's probably really happy. We're a very small community and, and very tight. And um, not just from, from the staff, um, the board and uh, our teachers, our counselors, but also even the, within the community neighbors, the community always comes through. I really learned to appreciate even the smallest things, like even waking up in the morning, that's a great blessing. We should appreciate everything. Mm -hmm.